What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And, guys, today we are going over the My Team market. And yesterday, I actually just want to show you something. They have a VC deal going on. So, if you are interested in VC, there it is. Uh, they got a little VC deal going on. But, yeah, that's that. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to sub it up, comment down below. We are actually doing one thing. We're actually giving away 500 KMT today. I would say we're going to do it Saturday. I'll give you guys a couple days to go on Twitter and retweet that post. 500,000 MT for free to all you goats, guys. 500,000 MT. So, if you guys need MT, make sure to go on Twitter and go comment uh, or um, go follow the giveaway. I think you have to retweet, follow me on here. Make sure to sub, comment on this video, like this video, all that good stuff, and you guys will get a chance at winning some free MT. Also, if you guys do want MT, I do buy and sell MT on all consoles. So if you're looking to buy and or sell your MT, hit me up on Twitter and or Instagram. Links are down below. Anyways, let's go over the market. Um, we're going over top snipe fielders today. I didn't drop my video Saturday because I was away in the city. I had a video ready for Saturday, but I forgot to release it. So I released my video yesterday on Sunday of the locker codes. And now today we are going to do over the best snipe filters in this game to help you guys make so much MT. So here we go. We're going to start up with the higher end filters. And look at this, guys. Galaxy Opal filter is ruined by some guy named Chris Paul. We all know who Chris Paul is. He's an absolute stud. This card's actually very good for 100k. I highly recommend this card. Um, because yo, Chris Paul's all around amazing. Uh, but yeah, Chris Paul did ruin this filter a little bit, but you still can scroll and still have a chance. Um, you could also buy out this card and put him on the enable filter. That's cool too. So you could try that out as well. This filter is very, very good. You just have to buy out one of the Chris Pauls and then you're chilling. So if you want to take the chances, you want to buy out Chris Paul, that is fine by me so chris paul all right next filter mr pink diamond filter mr i want to make some mt filter this filter is also very good and why is that because they released some easy pink diamonds yes i look like an absolute bum right now my hair is a little messed up yo this this larry bird for 12.9 is actually a very good price uh honestly i kind of recommend this card as well it's a very good price 12.9 for larry bird not bad whatsoever so yeah uh, 12,900 for Mr. Bird. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, yeah. So, this filter is very good. And it's only because, dude, there's a lot of movement on the Pink Diamond filter. Most kids nowadays in my team do have Pink Diamonds in their starting lineup. If they are selling their team, they might put up some snipes accidentally. So, honestly, not only that, Joe Caldwell was around 17k a couple days ago. He did drop a little bit. But, yo, this filter is very good. There's a lot of room to make MT. Some Pink Diamonds go for 100k, such as this guy right here. And always... Uh, also, always check this guy's price. He actually is very expensive, Lamella Ball, while we're going over snipe filters. He's over 100 KMT. And why is that? Because he's really long. He can play point guard. He's 6'6", and his stats are just absolutely incredible. So, yeah, that's why he's expensive. Uh, always keep your eyes on Lamello. Uh, yeah, that's why I say sniping big diamonds are pretty good. Diamonds, not too bad, not too good. But here it is. Lou Will, a card that I believe will go up in value. And why is that? He's out of PAX Friday, and his stats are actually very good startable point guard stacks as you guys know he's a very good six man diamond 94 fits a very good six man in my opinion so i think lou will is a must cop at the six man position not only that if you guys remember my video he was 1700 mt on friday this man is over 2500 mt already so 2500 with 95 steel 95 perimeter d with all 90 shooting stats and it could almost dunk, actually, at a 65. This card is a must-cop. With 95 speed and 48 gold and 6 Hall of Fames, this card is a very good investment still to this day. If you're buying it for 2500 in my opinion, that is a huge W. This knife filter is big. Um, next up, we got Amethyst Filter. It's probably going to be the last filter. Actually, we got one more filter after this. Amethyst Filter. Let's see what Big O is doing. As you guys know, he's out of packs. Um, so, Big Oscar Robertson, like I said, at 900 MT was an absolute steal. Let's see what he's going for now. I told you guys to invest. He might not be up that much more, but he will be up a lot more very soon. But we're going to see. I told him to invest at 900, 1,000 MT. Big O is almost up to 1,500 MT. So as of right now, guys, this this is not this is looking pretty good. 1,250. There's a couple of 1,250. If you guys want to invest, this is probably your last chance. You're never going to see this guy at 1,250 ever again. So if you guys want, go invest. 
As you can see, someone clearly invested because he posted a ton. I'm guessing he bought a lot of 900 MT. He's gonna make 100 MT per after reduction, which isn't too bad. It's not amazing. He's gonna make like 150 MT after reduction. Hey, that's a come up. 150 MT times 100 is what 50k MT profit, and they're gonna sell. Um, so yeah, honestly. If you want to buy some for 1100 go ahead. This car is going to go up in value. I'm telling you it's going to go up in value. Even though there is a lot in the market, there was a ton of pulled. I believe this car will still go up. But yo, we got a couple more filters. Nothing crazy. Diamond Contracts, definitely a very good filter. I really do recommend. Because Diamond Contracts go up, they go down. They go up, they go down. My opinion, Diamond Contracts, they're at 10K. Look at them now. 14,000 MT. And yes, we are on PS. 14,000 MT for some diamond contracts not too shabby right there so this is another filter i recommend this is a good investment filter would you invest now no but what i'm saying is next time they drop a diamond contract locker code when those diamond contract locker codes come out what tends to happen well it's very 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 simple um diamond contracts come out and what happens is when the contract uh the locker codes come out these diamond contracts actually rise like a lot um so these diamond contracts will rise uh, to around 25,000 MT towards endgame. And as you guys can see, this filter is very active. You might get some for 10K. When these go to 10K, buy a million, buy a trillion, buy as many as you can, because these cards always go up. Even if you get it for 10K, you sell for 14, that is what, 20 something hundred profit, which is very, very good profit. So listen, take my methods, keep trying them. They will work out. I promise you they will work out. It is just the best method possible. Last but not least, this is the last night filter in the video, and it's 600 MT profit, uh, 600 MT uh, maximum buyout. This filter is very good, although 2K has done a little something cheesy. Emeralds are no longer emeralds. Emeralds are like gold players, technically. Like the the uh, gold players are technically like bronze, I guess. And then emeralds are technically like silver, and then bronze are technically like sapphire. And then rubies technically. Uh, uh root wait no. sapphire is technically gold and ruby is technically sapphire pretty much it goes like that i could be off but that's how it is so like 600 mt filter isn't that op anymore emeralds are pretty much 600 mt but if you get anything else that pops up other than an emerald then you must buy like this zion might be a good price not totally sure but definitely always check this filter out it could turn out very very well that zion for 650 isn't really a bad price you would make not a lot of MT, but I'm just saying this filter, I've gotten a couple ovals off this filter in the past. I've gotten some crazy cards off this in the past. Some kids really do mess up and absolutely destroy their team literally just off this one filter. So honestly, I do try to recommend this filter because I think it's a good idea. But yo, other than that, that's really all I got for the video. That's top snipe filters. We gave away like five snipe filters that I believe are very good. Um, Honestly, the content this week was okay. This hunt for glory packs kind of doo-doo. But other than that, pretty good content this week. Connett's pretty good, Chris Paul's good, Jordan's good, Embiid's good, and Lamar Odom's obviously good, Jay Lynn, who doesn't want Jay Lynn, Lou Will's amazing, and yeah, honestly guys, that's all we got for the vid, oh yeah, a longer video today, hope you guys enjoyed, welcome to Snipe Filters, have a go boys, peace.